There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Epistle to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. Come, my soul, think of this. Believing in Jesus, you are actually and effectively cleared from guilt. You are led out of your prison. You are no more in fetters as a bondage slave. You are delivered now from the bondage of the law. You are freed from sin and you can walk at large as a free man. Your Saviour's blood has procured your full discharge from everything. You have a right now to approach your Father's throne. There are no flames of vengeance there to scare you now. No fiery sword. Justice cannot smite the innocent. Your disabilities are taken away. You were once unable to see your father's face, but you can see it now. You could not speak with him, but now you have access to him with boldness. Once upon a time there was a fear of hell hanging over you, but you have no fear of it now, for how can there be punishment for those without guilt? He who believes is not condemned and cannot therefore be punished. Moreover, the privileges you might have enjoyed, if you had never sinned, are now yours, now that you are justified. All the blessings which you would have had, had you kept the law and more, are yours, because Christ has kept it for you. All the love and the acceptance which perfect obedience could have obtained of God belong to you because Christ was perfectly obedient on your behalf and has taken all his merits to your account that you might be exceedingly rich through him who for your sake became exceedingly poor. Oh, how great the debt of love and gratitude you owe to your Saviour. A debtor to mercy alone, of covenant mercy I sing, not fear with your righteousness on my person and offerings to bring. The terrors of law and of God with me can have nothing to do. My Saviour's obedience in and blood hide all my transgressions from view. Amen.